Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Brian Sampson from Dunking with Wolves coming at you with another Brian's Breakdown where I'm going to take a look at the Minnesota Timberwolves victory over the New Orleans Pelicans last night. And Minnesota is now 5-1 and one in games with Jimmy Butler. And so for this game, I think I'm going to focus on some of the triangle offense that I'm seeing the Timberwolves run, which is kind of surprising because Tom Thibodeau, you don't normally think of him as a triangle coach, but I'm definitely seeing a lot of aspects or at least principles of the triangle offense mixed into the plays that Minnesota is running. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. And before we do that, I'd appreciate it if you guys could subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, and follow me on Twitter at Brian Sampson NBA. Let's dive in. There are a couple of instances of the triangle offense that I saw run throughout this game, so I wanted to highlight them as this first one comes off a Jimmy Butler post-up and fade for the bank bucket. And so what lets me know this is triangle is right now you can see this three-man setup with the guy in the low block, which is always key. And then as soon as the entry pass into Jimmy Butler is made, both Wiggins and Towns are going to cut, which is another staple of the triangle offense that both guys cut. And overall, a staple is that on every pass, everybody on offense should be moving. And so then those guys cutting out leaves Butler to go one-on-one -on -one with his man, who he, Butler has a height advantage over, and Butler is able to do his turnaround jumper and bank in the shot for two points. Here's another action that reminded me of the triangle, and by the way, check out Coach Nick on B-Ball Breakdown. He has a couple of good videos about the triangle if you want to learn more. And so the way that I figured out that this was triangle was because of the blind pig, which I'll come back to here in a second. So at the end here, it gets kind of sloppy and ends up in a contested three by Zhang, but overall it was an okay set. So it starts out here right at the beginning with a couple of dribble handoffs, and the dribble handoffs are part of the triangle offense. A lot of times fake dribble handoffs are built into it but here they actually do it and so this is the blind pig where Zhang pops to the to the high post and then Wiggins cuts backside that's called the blind pig action so then that is not open and so Zhang comes over Butler's supposed to come off for a dribble handoff right away however he tries to backdoor it's not there Butler then pops up and receives the dribble handoff typically if Towns is in here I'd believe that Towns would then post up right away However, with Zhang, that's not normally his game, so he's kind of confused. It gets a little sloppy at times, and Butler and Zhang aren't, aren't sure what to do. And you can see right there, there's three defenders on one side of the court, which really just congests the whole action for, for the Timberwolves. And so it ends in a contested Zhang three-point shot, but this is some of the quirks that Minnesota will work out as the season goes on. Here's a similar action to the last play. It's basically the same thing in just like last time, it kind of breaks down at the end. There's a little bit different action in the middle, but it's the same concepts. And it breaks down at the end, like I said, but ultimately Minnesota gets a bucket out of it, which is a positive. And that's what happens when you have good players who can create their own shots when things break down is they can save your team and get these two points like Butler did. So just like last time, it starts out with the dribble handoffs here at the beginning. And this time, instead of handing it off to Zhang and letting him then come to Teague. Butler fakes it, and Taj Gibson is going to come up and set a ball screen for Butler. So Butler comes off and comes off the ball screen, and nothing's there. It's good defense by Cousins. And Zhang here is going to pop to the corner just like last time. So typically this was where Butler was up above and would have back cut, but since he's not there, Zhang comes and dribble hands off for Teague, then comes back and sets the screen. Teague notices that he's got Anthony Davis, one of the best big man defenders in the league, so he flips it to Butler, and they freestyle from there and use some good ball movement, some good ball fakes, and ultimately get two points in what was actually a really crucial time as New Orleans was making a run on Minnesota. All right, so the last play that I want to show you comes on the defensive end for the Timberwolves, and it's a really good example of Minnesota rotating and practicing what's called the X-out concept. And so I just wanted to draw some attention to this because I thought that it was really well executed by Minnesota, and it ends up in a charge. And so what the X-out concept is, and we'll start from the beginning here. So the ball gets dipped down to Cousins, and Tyus Jones, not having to respect Jameer Nelson's jumper, is going to come and double down. And so that's where it begins. So Crawford then rotates up to Tyus Jones's man. And so he takes him. Wiggins, who is one pass away, is going to stay in his man. And then the X out motion comes in where Tyus Jones performs sort of like an X and crosses then out to Wiggins man like that. And so that's a common rotation that you see from a lot of NBA teams probably without even realizing it. 
And so it just helps the rotation and make sure that you don't give up an easy perimeter shot. Well, there you have it. There's a look at the Timberwolves triangle offense and some of the other things that worked and didn't work for the Minnesota last night. Their next game is on Saturday at home against the Dallas Mavericks. And so make sure to check out that game. I'll probably be getting a Brian's breakdown up on Sunday morning. Um, so keep your eye out for that. Appreciate it if you guys could subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like. And you can follow me on Twitter at Brian Sampson NBA. I hope to see you guys next time.